Hi there, it's Coot here, sending you love wherever you're watching this short video right now. In today's short video blog, I'm going to talk a bit about how do you find your purpose in life. Purpose being the thing that wakes you up in the morning. Purpose being the thing that ignites your soul, your heart, your essence, your being. The very reason for why you are alive. If you're watching this video right now, likely you're someone who you have a sense of purpose. You're in the process of giving your purpose and living your purpose, or you're seeking your purpose, or you're someone on that you're in a place where you've lost your purpose or you're just confused about what your purpose is. I get so many emails from amazing people around the world such as yourself asking me, Koo, how do I find my purpose? How do I know I found my purpose? How do I how do I seek my purpose? I'm confused about what my purpose is. I don't know what my purpose is. Wherever you are, I'm going to share six simple ideas and keys that will help you discover your purpose. The first thought to consider in finding your purpose is, you know, we sometimes play this game of I don't know I'm not sure I don't know what my purpose is I'm confused about my purpose I don't know where to start if you're someone in that place where you're playing this what I call a game of confusion the I don't know game likely that is not true there is a part of you deep down inside beyond your mind that has an inkling there is a part of you deep down within that has a sense of what your purpose is that has a knowing if you're even asking the question what's my purpose then something in Inside you is already in touch with the answer. We sometimes play this game of I don't know what my purpose is because it's actually safer in moments to not know, to pretend to not know. It's safer to not know because if we actually own what our purpose is and align with our purpose, then we have no more excuse. We actually have to put ourselves on the line. So pretending to not know what our purpose is is sometimes a an egoic protection mechanism that we that we play to protect ourselves from really having to step into the next level of your purpose, the next level of responsibility, the next level of your gifts. So if you did know, my invitation is to first own that you do know. To first own there is a, there is a part of you that does know. If I said to you, I'm going to, to I'm going to to, sh to shoot you. I'm going to give you a billion dollars if you tell me what your purpose is. Oprah will manifest your desires. Likely you would have an inkling. You would at least have an inkling. You may not know the entire outcome, but you would have a sense. Own the sense that you have. Own the inkling that you have, even if it's only a little bit. That is number one. Own what you do know. Number two, <clears throat> we have this myth and idea in our culture and personal development that you have, to, you have to know the entirety of your purpose. You have to know every detail. Here is an idea I want you to get. You don't have to know all the elements of your purpose in order to live your purpose. You don't have to know what your purpose is in order to live it. You do need to number one, as I said, own what you do know, and then at least begin by going in the direction. You don't have to know even where you're going. There is a part of you that knows where you're going. Your soul, your intuition will guide you. So take a step. Go in the direction that you love. Take a step. When you take a step, you don't have to figure it all out, but when you take a step in the direction of your nudging, in the direction of your small knowing, you take a step, then life will reveal itself to you. Then life will then give you clues. Life will show up to meet you at your point of action. Many times we hang back and wait and try to figure life out. Life is way bigger than anything you can figure out. And likely in the process of living, in the process of you being in life, in motion, in action, Things will shift in you. Ideas will pop in you and life will show you. Life will guide you. Life will reveal to you in the process of living itself the next step, the next unfolding, the, the, the next direction in the area of what your purpose is. And many times what you think your purpose is isn't really what your purpose is. Your purpose reveals itself to you in the process of action. There are things that you can't see from where you currently are today that as you take a step forward and look around the corner, life shows you things you couldn't see before. So your purpose is something that is revealed to you in living itself. That's the second thing. The third thing I would say is really ask yourself, what do I love? And go in that direction. What do I love? What turns me on? What is my passion? What would I do for free? What, you know, I love speaking. I love helping people. You know, I was a young kid in, in grew up in London. <clears throat> 
My father's a minister. We didn't have a lot of money. So I would sneak into my father's church in the middle of the night when the lights were off. And I would speak to the empty chairs. That's right. In the middle of the night, picture this 10-year-old, 11-year-old kid. I would literally go and give speeches and talks to the empty chairs with the lights off. Five, six, seven hundred empty chairs. And imagine like I was giving seminars to people around the world. At age 10, I would do this three, four hours was a night till I was 18. For me, it was a passion. So I would say, what lights you up? What turns you on? What ignites you? What would you do for free? What, 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 bring, what brings you to aliveness? Don't simply ask yourself what would make money, but what would make you feel alive, truly alive, and go in that direction. If you, if you hate cars, or if you, if you hate you know, real estate, or if you hate a specific thing, don't go in that direction because you're only going to be miserable. At the end of the day, my friends, you have one life, one opportunity to live this amazing life in your body as you. Every moment is a gift. And if you're not doing what you love, if you're not truly living alive, then you are living dead. So go in the direction that you love. The next, qu- the next key <clears throat> is to ask yourself, based on your experience, based on your entire life, what specific skills do you have? You do need to have skills in order to be effective and productive and successful in life. You might say, I love uh, basketball, but you're two foot one or you're four foot nine. Likely that's not going to happen. Or you've never played basketball, but you like watching basketball. You're not going to be a basketball player. And so really look at, based on your experience, I believe your dreams chose you. Your purpose has chosen you because you are the perfect person to fulfill that, pur- that purpose based on your life, based on your pains, based on your childhood, based on your upbringing, based on your parents, based on your schooling, based on where you grew up, based on every single thing that's ever happened to you makes you, qualifies you to be the unique configuration of an individual, the unique human being with a perspective, with an idea, with, 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 with a way of seeing the world that no one can see the world in quite the way you can see the world. So your entire life experience qualifies you to be the one, to be the person, to live that purpose. And so ask yourself, based on your experience, what specific skills do I have? Because those skills will qualify you and point you in the direction of what your purpose is. If you have a particular skill in, in, in negotiation, if you have a particular skill in understanding uh, mathematical problems, if you have a particular, particular skill in creativity or problem solving, take a look at that. Right? Take a look at that. Many times we don't value the skills we have because they come easily to us. We don't think there's any value in that but there is the next key to really defining and refining what your purpose is is looking at what problems are you uniquely able to solve what problems are you uniquely able to solve based on your skills right in the key before so what problems can you uniquely solve because you see Your ability to be successful, your ability to make money in life is in direct proportion with your ability to add value. And you add value to people's life when you solve a problem. When you solve a pain, a challenge, or a problem is when you add value. And when you add value in that way, you make money. I tell people when you're seeking your purpose, don't figure out the how. Don't figure out how am I going to make money. Ask yourself, how can I be of value? How can I truly be of value? How can I truly be of service to my community, to my friends, to those around me? Because when you truly add value by solving a pain, problem, or challenge, money will be the exchange that comes back to you as a result of you adding value. Value. Adding value. So ask yourself, how can I be of service? How can I add value by solving a pain, problem, or challenge? Is that clear? Next simple key to consider when you're seeking to find what your purpose really is, is which group of people do I feel a connection to? Which group of people do I feel an affinity to in my community? Maybe you feel a special connection to uh, teenage 
kids. Maybe you feel a, a, a connection to those who have a drug addiction or an alcohol, uh, alcohol addiction. Maybe you feel a connection to single mothers. Maybe you feel a connection to the elderly. Maybe you feel, the, you feel a connection to the physically challenged. Maybe you feel a connection to the, those in Africa. Maybe you feel a connection to a particular tribe or animals. I believe that you feel a connection. Your soul feels a particular connection for a reason. Perhaps your soul and their souls have a destiny. A destiny for a reason. And so when you look at the group of people you have a connection to, a strong bond to, it is no accident. That is a group or a community that based on your skills, based on your experience, based on the problems you can solve, based on everything, you have the ability, the opportunity to serve that group of people. Go in that direction. That is showing you the group of people that perhaps you have been sent you have been put on this planet to serve in some shape or form. Folks, those are six, six simple keys to finding your purpose. But as you, as you sit with those keys, remember that you don't have to have it figured out. Oprah had no idea that she was going to be Oprah. And Obama had no idea that he was going to be president. I'm sure Steve Jobs had no idea that he was going to be where he was. Every single visionary leader, Great One, Gandhi, Mother Teresa, Mandela, whether they knew or whether they didn't, they went in the direction of where, what their soul called them to do. They went in the direction and a nudge, and they followed their soul and they took a step. So as you sit with your purpose, answer those questions, those six keys, but go in the direction. Take a step. Don't wait for a special date. Don't wait for a special date to determine your fate. Take a step and then another step and then another step and you may find that you will end up living, living into your purpose. And one day you'll wake up, look around and go, wow. I'm living my purpose. So folks, I hope you found tremendous value in the six keys to finding your purpose. Please do share this special video blog uh, with everyone in your life. Share it as a gift. Tag your friends on social media and Facebook. Uh, send me an email. Also, let me know, Coot Blackson at CootBlackson.com, how you enjoyed uh, this particular video on finding your purpose. Make sure you subscribe uh, to my email list to receive special updates and weekly inspiration to your in inbox, www.cootblackson.com. Blackson.com and also connect with me on Instagram, Facebook, and all social media. Love now.